Hi again. It's me again. I'm here with Michelle. Ah. Uh. That was attractive. Uh. <laughs> I'm William. Today, well, what are we talking about? <laughs> um, today we are talking about whether or not degrees in the creative art are luxuries society can no longer afford. Now Michelle, sportingly, has decided that she is going to do um, the uh, four. Four, four, which is like that's a really weird because you can't say I'm four degrees in the creative. That's a, that's a stupid thing. Well, She's going to do the yes side because this house says that. She's going to do the yes side, whereas I am going to do the no side, and Will is going to chime in, probably on my side the most. Yeah. That's I'm, easy, though. But the reason I'm that. doing the other side is because it's not so Just easy. Just to clarify, Michelle doesn't believe that they are... She should. Well, no, otherwise my degree is going to be fuck all useful to anyone. There you go. Right. So, Michelle, would you like to start? So, I should have been so important. Mm. Well, there's nothing wrong with burnt onions. There are people in Africa starving. They're burnt because you left the heat They're actually quite yummy. They weren't burnt when I cooked them. Can we get back to the topic, please? Yeah. Right. There you go. Go. With your first point. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're having soup and pasta. How have I am having soup and pasta. So, firstly, <clears throat> saying it's a luxury isn't invalidating art. And creative arts as a subject altogether, and saying that they're not important. No, but rather but degrees. I... Hang on a sec. Right. <laughs> but rather that degrees in them at the moment are luxurious. No, I mean, um, hang on, <laughs> and that we are struggling to afford them. But it says society can no longer afford them, which means that there must be some error on society's part, which therefore means that we can no longer. The point. <laughs> Going forward, luxury in today's society is often con- often has negative connotations. Mm-hmm. So you could argue that that statement is saying that they are bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm supposed to be agreeing but, with me. No, 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 but what I mean is, it's yeah, saying something's luxurious means that it's not essential. I mean, okay, um, the area okay. in which the area in which they wouldn't have been a luxury would be the time in which education was a luxury, mm. in which there were the very few people going to university. Whereas now there's nothing going to university. So you're saying that art degree, degrees in like art and dance and stuff like that, so creative expression then mm-hmm. isn't essential. Is that is that what you're saying? Not as essential as things like science, medicine. Um, Whatever else things that are not creative arts would not. Um, I mean, just to clarify, are we talking about degrees in like practical subjects, like studying instruments and conservative work specifically, or no, do we also include degrees like English, which are geared towards actual writing? I'm not sure I would cre- class English as a creative art, unless okay, it's in creative, creative writing. writing. Yeah. 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 Okay. But. Because English you can use for like. Okay, fine. So, business. Mm-hmm. What do you consider, because obviously you can go get, get degrees in like, Food prep and stuff like that. Sub studies. Would you consider those to be essential? Because obviously they're not art related. They're not creative art. Food prep, I think, or stuff like that, sort of stuff. Hmm. Well, yeah, but, but I, don't, I, I don't think you need degrees for them. Though. Yeah. No, you don't. Okay, so would you say that degrees like food prep and stuff like that? Would you say that? You mean like catering? Yeah, would you say that the fact that those are degrees? Are actually are actually taking away funding from those things that should be degrees like the field of art. Well, medicine. Well, me- medicine has and always will be a degree. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. That's so true. it's it's things like medicine. Um, well, no, but no, no, no funding will ever be taken from medicine. I don't, I don't think that has no. been cut. But at the same time, it's only funded for a certain oh. amount of time, I think. Yeah, but n- yeah, that that's with any form though. No, I mean in terms of like the NHS can fund um, courses, but only for a certain amount of years, I think. Mm. No, that's the same with any course. Though. But there is more funding yeah, from the NHS, better. is what I mean, for like medicine and stuff. Well, yeah, but that's because all people who study medicine will eventually probably go on to study. To be yeah, work the exactly. NHS. But then taxpayers all are helping put money, money into universities that could be used to be going into the NHS. Wait, what? 
you, oh, yeah. you, you need to study a degree to work for the NHS. Hmm. So, so why are we putting money into creative subjects so we could be putting it into the NHS? <laughs> Because the and doctors and people are going to be working for the NHS. Because let's face it, everyone's going to need a doctor or something at some point in their life, but not everyone's going to need an artist. Well, yes, so that but implies that the NHS doesn't have the money for this. It doesn't. Well, yeah, but that's the government's problem because they're the one who are cutting money to the NHS. That, that has nothing to do with university. Yeah. I mean, are they cutting money to the NHS because they don't have enough money? Yeah. And so, if they took money away from universities and created subjects and were able to yes, but universities are vital. Create, the creative arts are vital. They help. They they help us form a healthy relationship to our emotions. Do you see too many people who have no idea how to connect with the more nuanced parts of their character? So, I mean, the fact that they have the people there that means that the creative arts. I mean, are but for it. some people, creative arts are the only way they have of expressing themselves. So, are you saying that people who are artists tend to be more emotionally stable? Yes, I did agree with that. <laughs> Okay. Ernest Hemingway, Sylvia Plath. <laughs> any ro- good writer, any artist, most yes, of them are very they, troubled they, people. Yeah, I, fine, fine, okay, maybe emotionally stable was the wrong kind of word. Okay. But they are more in touch with their emotions. If they weren't, they wouldn't have that to draw from. They wouldn't how is be that, great writers. But how is that useful to our society? Because it teaches others how to get in touch with their emotions. And, oh my god, I know you don't believe this, but I'm getting so angry with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, most people don't learn how to get in touch with them. No, like but even exactly. which is why we need people like that. Even creative people don't know. I don't think. Creative people are more in touch with their emotions. Okay, but being more in touch with their emotions doesn't necessarily mean that's going to help society in any way. And I don't think. How can it not? I don't think that's that's detrimental to society. By by teaching people. Sorry. It is if it's taking money away from things like medicine. You need to quiet that up, boys. Because y'all just trying to sleep down there. Shut. But. No, 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 because the creative arts are taking money away from medicine. Medicine will, medicine will always be a potential subject. Yeah, but we which... can put more money into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I just mean I can get my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah sorry, I have been over. Um, mm-hmm. I think we need to reason creative subjects in order to have creative people do creative things. In fact, they can often do hindrance. But would you... Yes. However, would you argue that degrees in the creative arts are more useful for helping them show their worth on a more... on a bigger scale? What I mean is, everyone's going to need things like doctors, dentists, um, they may be lawyers and stuff like that. No, everyone needs writers as well, because stories are an essential part of being human. We need stories. End of. Okay, but do you need a degree to be able to do that? <laughs> in, in, in today's consumer society, in today's capitalist society, yes, you fucking do. Because there's no way you're going to get your book published if you don't have some fancy, fancy degree. No, no, I agree. But then isn't that society's problem? Like, no, that's been, our problem. We're part of society. Yeah, been, no, I know. There have been very recent examples of like the outside cultures getting coming from like nothing and do something that's very decent. There's like, lots of oh, writers that didn't get a degree. I'd like to do. I'm not going to do it. I'm doing this one. Mm. Mm. Why are we, um, actually, having degrees in creative subjects also, that, that is a bit weird. Like, like, why should you, if it's something creative, why do you need to go and study that and do a degree because in Because society says you have to. So surely that's the problem with society rather than it being that creative arts yes, are important. Yes, but, da 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 Degrees in the creative arts are the luxuries society can no longer afford. That so mm. so the degrees bit is what I'm arguing with. You can it's not saying that you can't be creative and do creative things. No, it's not. But it's not society, saying we don't but need writers. Society is saying that you need a degree to be a writer. However, society is then switching that around and saying that we can no longer afford to give people degrees in creative subjects. So maybe society should turn around and say, yeah, you can be a writer, but you don't need a degree. But society is saying you need a degree. Oh, this is weird. It's like this. I think society is too vague of a term. Okay, fine. Let, let, let's, let's classify society then. What would you class as society? I wouldn't, because I think the idea of doing something for society's sake is stupid. It's not benefiting anyone. Well, yeah, that's a different step. Well, in that case, maybe I should be still talking. No, don't be ridiculous. Your really? opinion is valid. We're just trying to... Let's pass this go. <laughs> I'm not going to argue against so, that. Min- minimalist food, Michelle. We have to put tons of stuff into everything. Uh, I live with Michelle for a little bit and she found her. We've had some mushrooms. 
I had a little bad match with him. We're not arguing about this. We're arguing about this. Now, hmm. well, we need to define society so we can get a coherent opinion from Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> what? We create a talk, you have to hear the rules. Stop being pedantic. I suppose society, we could um, narrow down maybe to the taxpayer, since a lot of that has to do with people paying tax. Okay. Yeah. But, mm, mm, I'm not saying society is exclusively the I, I, I suppose it would do for the sake of argument. Because okay. it tends to concern them. Okay, no, but then, that goes on. I just, I think time just for the taxpayer, or even something I'm really interested in, I'm more interested in just people. Well, yes, but people. No. Mm. But what I mean is it's more, it's going to directly, it, economically, I mean, it's going to affect the taxpayer more so than someone who doesn't pay that. Okay. Well, we're not we're just trying to... Uh, I, I, I think we've, like, gotten off the topic. Do you want your next point? Mm-hmm. We need to keep this below 15 years. Right. Because it's saying that um, it's a luxury. It's again saying not that it's not unnecessary, but yeah, I know. So I'm saying, and going off on onto that, um, surely we should be funding important things first, and then if we can, because that's what luxury are. Our creative arts not as important as other things. Not not vitally in terms of um, things like would you rather? It's like saying would you rather a society open an art gallery or a hospital? No. Oh, oh fuck me. <laughs> Which is more important? And you'd say, if you, so, for example, I only have enough money to build either a hospital or an art gallery. Which one would you build first? Why and you, you most people, yeah, I suppose it depends. It, it depends on the society you live in. If it's a group of artists or a group of sick people, then <laughs> that's going to depend. Well, but, it depends on demand, because if, yeah. if it's a healthy society, then you can then pe- do without but a pe- hospital. But people are always going to get sick. No. That being said, there are far more artsy places in Sirencester than we've got like one tiny little hospital. That's so. a swindle when I bring my finger. Yeah, exactly. It is difficult. <laughs> um, I don't like this argument. <laughs> um, oh we God. should we should be left to decide what we want to do. But you can't. But then yes, everyone. Yes, but you can't. You can't. Everyone always. Everyone's you can't decisions ask one, You can't ask else. one. Yeah, exactly. Because we're all connected. You can't ask one individual to make a decision for society as a whole. We could ask society as a whole to facilitate the decisions of individuals, and that comes back to them as individuals. Yes, but then you're placing too much trust in something like representatives. Like this. Um, so. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? Um. You're, 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 uh, you're, um, placing too much trust in, like, rep- representation then, which goes back onto the thing that our democracy is failing. Okay, go on to your third point. Uh, let's see, I'm sure most of them interconnect really. Um, of course they do, that makes up a good argument. Uh-huh. Sorry. I'm fondling my coat at me. Oh, yeah. Okay, another one was that if you really want to do the creative arts, you should be able, you should fund it yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Which again, I don't like because I relied on everyone's money for everything. I'm the biggest sponge in the world. (laughs) Okay, okay, no, I, I can understand that. However, because I could answer some type of people. If if there's one vital point, we live in a capitalist society where it's stated that if you want something, you must pay for it. Yeah. So, I'm saying maybe if if we deem something as not essential to our, the working of our society, then someone should have to pay more for that than, say, like, a medical degree. <laughs> like, you should have to pay more. To, you should get more funding if you're doing something essential to our society, for example, like job business. I mean, I think, I think you do anyway. They're interesting funding. Yeah. Any sponsors. Yeah, but there's a lot of sponsors for other like creative subjects like arts. There's a, there's big sponsorships in arts. This is big sponsorships for art. Could generate money. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, but art is necessary. Art will always be necessary because it is what it is one of the ways we achieve our greatest expression. But is it as important as yes, as a hospital? Because you need to be able to have expression to ha- maintain a functioning and but some healthy of, society. But someone who's sick wouldn't agree with that. They would rather have a hospital. If someone, it depends on the needs of the individual, really, and the society. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm agreeing with you here, don't worry. <laughs> no, I love you, but I just... Uh, oh, oh I'm so much. angry with you. 50 minutes! Okay, no, we'll, we'll carry on going. Sorry. Oi! <laughs> try not to sound so monosyllabic. <laughs> Um, what, what, what else? I think that was my main point. Do you have any... You need real help first. Ooh. <laughs> <If> you... <laughs> I think it's important that we don't... Art. I Most think... people don't use... Excuse me? Most people don't use art. Use art. Oh, I meant like compared to a hospital. Of course, um, people are going to use a hospital than an art gallery. I think, or a... I think if we don't have some sort of governmental support for artistic subjects, it's very easy just to get... Um, get everything formed into this all view that we just need to be like producing stuff and making sure we continue producing stuff and the thing is the reason I like do writing and stuff is because I love doing it. I don't do it because it's useful to society. <laughs> that's not why I do this that's not why okay. I do it. So would you argue that government involvement in the creative arts is actually hindering it? In a way I think it yeah. I don't like the uh, the uh, making something creative academic. That's what I really do. I, I, I really that's I, that's I that's really that's hate that's that. that. Okay. That will be the subject of our next video. Brilliant. Brilliant. You, sh you shall unfortunately see more of us. So, I shall turn you off right now. <laughs> so, again, I have been Joseph Hale. That has been Michelle Clement, one of my best friends. And that has been William English, one of her best friends and one of mine. There you go. Bye. I shall see you again soon. <laughs>